Hello and welcome to this video. Whether for a school project or just for fun, building and launching your own water rocket is a challenging but awesome experience. In this video we will show you how to get started and how to build your own simple water rocket. Let's go! Before you start building your rocket, you should know which materials and tools you will need. But don't worry, all materials used in this tutorial are available in your local hardware store. If you want, you can download a bill of materials as a PDF from our website. A water rocket is basically just a pressure vessel filled with air and water. When you launch the rocket, the water is forced out of the vessel by the air pressure and accelerates the rocket in the opposite direction. But besides the bottle, which is used as the pressure vessel, you will need to make a safe and secure launcher too. In this case, we will use garden hose connectors for the launcher, because they are waterproof and easy to release. You will need a 1.5 inch garden hose, which should be as long as possible. Attach a car tire valve at one end of the hose. You may have to file off a part of the valve, which will then allow you to push it into the hose. You can then secure it with a clamp. Attach the garden hose coupling at the other end. We'll add a tapnet adapter to the rocket later, and if we put this adapter into the coupling, we have our launcher mechanism. If you want to have a good launcher, you will need a stand for your garden hose system. You can use whatever waterproof materials you want for the stand, but if you want to keep it simple, just use 4 wooden planks like this. It's very important that you secure the launcher to the ground, so it doesn't tip over. The stand will need to have a 16mm hole for the garden hose and a 35mm hole for the coupling. You can glue the coupling into the hole using a hot glue gun. Now it's time to start with the construction of the nozzle, which is the adapter between the rocket and the launch pad. Just drill a hole into a bottle cap and increase the diameter to 40mm. Remove the seal from a tap nut adapter and glue the bottle cap into it using epoxy resin. Let the nozzle cure for at least 48 hours. But what about the rocket itself? You will need a stable and thick walled plastic bottle to make up the body of the rocket. You just have to add some fins, made of thin, stiff and lightweight wooden or plastic materials. In this case we are using Gotekless Hobby Color. Feel free to try different fin shapes, but if you want you can download our fin templates from our website as well. Use a cutter to cut out the fins and attach them to the rocket using a hot glue gun. But be careful, don't wait until the glue is so hot that it melts the plastic of the bottle. We also suggest securing them further with pieces of duct tape. If you want, you can build a parachute mechanism for your rocket as well. This is not necessary for a rocket of this size, but it's great because it allows you to attach a small camera to the rocket. Just click here and watch the fourth part of our tutorial about building a huge water rocket if you're interested. But for your rocket, you should use a smaller parachute than shown in this tutorial. If you prefer not to use a parachute system, that's fine too. Just use a half tennis ball as the nose con and glue it in place using a hot glue gun. After the nozzle has cured for 48 hours, you can screw it onto your rocket. The only missing part is the release mechanism. 
just attach two nylon strings to the coupling with a cable tie and the rod trim horizontally with a rod. The coupling's color will open as soon as you pull the strings. Now your rocket is ready to launch. Choose a launch site which is far away from houses, streets, trees and power lines. Secure your launcher to the ground and attach your air pump to the hose system. Fill the rocket one third full of water and put the rocket onto your launch pad. You can raise a part of the hose above the water line in the rocket to stop water flowing back into the pump. All you have to do now is build up the pressure with your air pump. Please be careful and always wear safety goggles. Don't try to use too much pressure, 80 psi is enough for your first try. You can use more pressure later, but always be aware the bottle can explode. As soon as you have enough pressure, just pull the string and the rocket will launch. We wish you much success in building and launching your own water rocket. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. We'll see you next time. Your Rocket Fuel Team.